how I want to sit down and play it. I want to get more into the Resident Evil games. I was never into Resident Evil too much, uh, but now I want to start getting into the Resident Evil games. Um, I can't wait for the rest of the game to come out and then get hyped for that. Hello everyone and welcome to Resident Evil Village. You guys remember when I played Resident Evil 7 when this originally came out, but now I'm able to play this. And I want to say a quick thank you to my head moderator on my Discord, Kingslayer. Thank you so much. This would not be able- this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you. So, again, thank you so much. So, I'm really excited to play this game. I've wanted to play this game ever since it came out. A lot of you do know me as my Ethan Winters cosplay, which I, I've taken great pride in. And I love that cosplay to death. I just wish I was living in a really hot place to cosplay. But oh, I'm so excited! Ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, Hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful, golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. <clears throat> Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. That is really one ugly baby. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. A local tale. Besides... Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. <laughs> we moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Sassy. It's, being paranoid. it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Shut up, not right. Mia. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. I'll finish dinner. As you fucking shit. That's gonna sound sexist. I hope it's good. Also, the story. Hey, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. The story that she told. The four. Like, um. Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing. I'll put her down. Yeah, they, like, those represent, like, the four lords. And then the witch in the end is, I believe, Mother Miranda? Why is there a bottle on the ground? 
Oh, no, it was just blocks. Examine. Took forever to pick these wipes. I love the whole um, plant vibe we got going on here. We could go for a walk instead. Okay, maybe not. Examine. As things warm up, we can go for a walk. I want to go for a walk. Nothing. Mia, why don't we have anything good around here? Shut up! There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. This is a lot about me as a possible parent in the future. I just tell the baby to shut the fuck up. Examine Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the accident. I love the mirror not working. We'll never see his face. I love this. This is nice. This is nice. But when, you know, she grows up, where she, what, what, bedroom for her? Hello? Oh, maybe this could be a bedroom for her. Who knows? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah. Curtains closed and the do the dual V gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Duvly toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded that the deaths were caused by a, a leak of natural gas and had built that had built up in the muck the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, that's daddy, and his family were exposed to the gas and perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be in be, oh, Ethan Winters and his wife were all, also believed to be have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The whole area has been closed off by officials who believed it to be about 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Well, they said gas leak. They're not wrong. <gasps> Ooh, a monitor. Okay. This is nice. Lovely painting you got here. Why is it so dark? Almost there, honey. But why is it so dark everywhere? Holy fuck. Okay. A mug. Good, good. Shut up. February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can, can bring Rose up properly, but I feel like a part of me is still trapped in a hellhole in Louisiana. Ah. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but how can we really forget everything... And pretend it didn't happen. Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without hanging it over with it without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't explode like this at the hospital if she didn't care. Good shit, good shit. No, oh, what's this? <laughs> The one thing about Ethan Winters, like, especially if you cosplay him, you will forget the, the fact that he's a dad. I've forgotten. <laughs> okay, we don't need to be looking at photos. We get it. Mia was pregnant. You impregnated her. Mold baby. You can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. All right, here you go. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. That sweater looks comfort. Really comfortable. Very comfy. Really comfy. Alright. Let's go. Oh. Oh! Physics! Ah! Oh, I missed you. Alright, I gotta get used to the freaking 
Resident Evil bullshit again. How, how do I crouch again? You gonna tell me how to crouch? Crouch, 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 crouch. I'm pressing all the buttons so I can crouch. Never mind. I guess we're not crouching. Hello, Mia. What's in the pantry? What do we got? Got flour. It's half whole. Juice. That juice has looked like it's been sitting here for about a good while. Potatoes have been growing. Nice. Everyone's like, yeah, we've already seen the fucking game. Get on with it. Is she okay? Why are those wine bottles really fucking big? Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. Are you just gonna put your hand in the fucking soup? Chuba de la Gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> The one thing that, okay, the one thing that really, like, Mia, get down. where I knew that this was not Mia, is that how calm she was acting Mia. of being shot. I mean, Ethan, when his hand is cut off, he acts like a little baby. But I'm pretty sure if you, like, get shot, you're not gonna act so fucking calm about it. Mia. Oh, God. What the hell? Hey, hot Sorry. stuff. No! What? Why? It's a nice house. Go on, move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Bad Ethan. Get down, Ethan. I love that Chris just talks to him like he's a dog or something. What a fun time. Except it's not a fun time. Flashback. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mina Winter. I got your daughter's results back, and I'm lucky to come in to talk about them. How about the next day's before class? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. <laughs> Hey now. Think You're an all-star. All right. We talked about this. I know. I hardly talk about anything else. Sounds like a failed marriage. that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia. What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Yeah, we sh you should probably take that instead of talking to your fucking wife. Trust me, I know about failed relationships. I'm practically an expert at it. That is one ugly ass baby. Dear Christ. That baby is just the ugliest. I know people are going to be looking like, like, oh, the baby's so cute. And I'm like, mm, is it? Is it a cute baby? And there's not a scratch on us. Jeez. 
Jesus. You should answer that. Or let it ring. About damn time. What's your status? The package thing. What are you talking about? Of course, Chris Redfield. And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. Fuck. Your phone died, dude. I'm glad we have a flashlight. They let us keep a flashlight. That's great. Um, um, not ah, there we go. Can I, can't, what do you mean I can't go in there? I can't go in there? I want to go in there. There could be a secret. Ah, fuck you then. We can backtrack. No, we cannot. We fell off a cliff. That seems most logical. Is anyone in the driver's seat? We can check that. No, we cannot. I think your blinker's on, dude. Nice shadow. No legs. Mm, I love this. Hello? Russell Wessel? Can you stop shivering? I don't want to hear it, Ethan. Glad we're not freaking out about, you know, noises. Careful. Ah, oh, you cut yourself. I was saying, like, did I not add that to my cosplay? But, um, kind of hard to add that when you have whole fingers missing. The one thing I really hate about this cause, like, cosplaying Ethan from Village. Oh, that's nice. Is that, like, you have to wrap those fingers. I'm not sure if I'm liking this. Ugh. Oh, oh, ah. Oh! Hi! It's okay. You'll learn to do it on the inside one eventually. Oh. That bird's no longer alive. <gasps> what the fuck? Hello? Are you gonna take my fingers? Good god, how do you see fucking anything? Ethan, can you not point your light at the fucking ground? I think this is a building? Building. Look at that, we made it. Great, I can't see anything. Um, not seeing anything. Well, how would I? Open. <laughs> Don't waste water. Don't waste water. Hmm. I'm sweating. Oh, nice. But there's nothing there. There's a... What? Oh, that's me. I'm making the glass break. Um... Can we grab that? Nope. Apparently not. 
Ethan, move your light a little bit more up. Can we get something as, like, a, a defense? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable with Ethan's uh, ability to defend himself. That is Mother Miranda. Nice. I see we worship her. Fuck me. I think I'll be more comfortable in the castle. He has the same flower that we have. Oh, it's just a rat. Um, where, what? Do I go back upstairs? Better watch the fuck out. Excuse me. Oh. Well, there's no escaping that. So I guess the way out is somewhere down here. Am I blind? I have to be stupid if I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Through the wardrobe, I don't know. Oh. That's interesting. I don't know where I'm going. But I think that's pretty evident. Can the damn jarring music stop? Ethan, do something about it. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to do that. I'm a fucking idiot. That is blood on your hands. Don't worry, you should be used to that. What did all this? Something not human. That'd be my guess. There we go. Making great progress. I also forgot that Resident Evil is a horror series. My walnut brain. I'm honed in on one thing. Where the hell am I? Oh god, this is... Fucking gorgeous. <sighs> Slide down. You're okay. Okay. Let's look for some stuff. There's a cow. It's dead. Old town. Ooh, can I actually go in here? I don't think it's gonna be the best idea for me to go in here, but like, let's do it. Maybe, maybe they're out. Mm, maybe. Examine. I need a lockpick. Fuck. They, too, have a photo of Mother Miranda. Hmm. 
What the fuck was that? No, oh, we can't worry about that. Hello? Oh, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna do more searching around later. Can't go that way, so this way it is. I remember playing the demo and I did the village over the castle because it was a walnut. <laughs> Mm, I, I don't think I can get through that way, so I have to go this way. But this is nice. This is very nice. Nice village we got here. Thought I saw something over there, but I guess not. <laughs> ah, can't go through here either. Maybe I was supposed to go that way. Oh, we can run! Thank god, Ethan. Thought we were gonna go one pace the entire fucking game. These are goat's heads. What happened? That's what I'm asking. My dear Ethan. <laughs> Hmm. Lock do the missing hole mower. Oh, hello, chicken. Ethan, light. Ethan, you're fucking useless. Can't. Why can't I? Can I go through there? Did they just run out of the house? I don't have anything. Wait, something over here. <gasps> A knife! Guys, I'm armed! There's a box over here. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. This is the good shit. Oh yes, it's the good shit. Now that I'm armed, I can go check this noise out. Oh Stop. fucking Christ. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? <laughs> Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road and What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? I have a knife. A knife is just as good as a gun. Take it! Okay. Thank you. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Oh, shit. What the? Oh, God. I don't enjoy this. Ethan, click on the light! Uh, the light! Oh, God! Yeah, he's dead. Thank you for stating the obvious, Ethan. There's more. Great, I have... Mm. They're really stuffed on in here. 
Okay. What, was, what did that say? Examine. More of a push out of the way. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Ethan, I feel like you say that about all the places we go to. Oh! Well, there go my fingers. And half his hand. Ugh. I don't want to see that. What the fuck was that? Um. Good question, my dude. I can use the photo on it. Ooh, chem fluid, yes. I know how the chem fluid works. I know how to craft a first aid kit. Well, it looks like I have to go through the door- this house. Oh, that was me. Oh, bolt colors. Yes, yes, yes. We're a genius. Bolt cutters. Oh, I miss the old aim system in 7. <laughs> I really don't want to go in there. Do I have to? Is that a radio? It sounds like a radio. Handgun ammo, yes, yes, yes. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, fuck me. Chem fluid. Oh, God! Um. No, thank you. Oh, God. I have to go down that way. Um. Oh, press full day. Where else would I go? I'm not always around him. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 
Get off of me. How do I melee again? This guy. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Okay. Oh, I don't want to look at your hand. Uh oh. There we go. I don't know if I should shoot you. Do I? Or are you just gonna go away peacefully? Are you gonna go away peacefully? Like your friend? Peacefully? You gonna be peaceful about this? I'm glad we found a peaceful resolution to this. What's this? Ooh, handgun ammo. Nice. I have quite the collection now. Hey! Peaceful! You guys aren't being very peaceful about this. Oh god! Uh, can I pick that up? Thank you. Damn it. Survive the attack! Gunpowder. Gunpowder, I'll take it. Handgun shells. Or is that handgun shells? Hey! Hey! Uh oh. Rusted scrap. Great, I can do nothing with that. God, I keep getting stuck on things. There's no end to them. Um, you know, I'm just it's full of flour. Are you sure it's flour? Um, I'm gonna take my bet down here. Take your fucking kneecap out. Oh. Great. They have arrows. screwed myself over.
I have fucking nothing. Oh god. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh god! That is a big boy. Oh, fuck me. I have a knife. Listen, I have a knife. Um, splashy splash. Oh god, oh god, what am I supposed to do? I, there's no way I can fight all these guys off. Oh, he's such a big guy. God. Is this supposed to happen? Oh god. Well, shit. Oh no. Well, mm, this is how I die. Oh, they can ride horses. At least they're sophisticated. Hey, I get it. Your turf? I'll fucking leave. I get it. Your turf, I can fucking leave. Oh no. Well, shit. You look like Santa Claus. You are such a big fella. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. Where the fuck did you get the bandage? Noise. I'll catch up with you later. I need to go check some houses. We'll, we'll catch up with her. Bruno, we, uh, we need to go check some houses. We survived that. That was interesting. Very interesting. I don't know how the fuck I survived that. That sure enough, I would I would have fucking died. Yeah, 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 we hear you. But what I need right now are some awesome ammunition. They're awesome. And let's break you. Handgun ammo. Reload. Okay. At least we got something now. So we're not just running around like a fucking idiot. What's this? Ooh, that's right. I killed a bunch of them and I was trying to pick up the loot. Can't get into there. This is where the demo started. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. It's not safe. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Bell 
Herald's danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? She makes no sense. Like, absolutely none. That woman's on a whole different level. Alright, so I have bullets. I got two med kits. We're fucking set, man. We are fucking set. I remember this. I'm guessing this is literally gonna be just like the demo. Yeah, there's lockpick there. This is gonna be totally like- but the demo didn't show his wrapped hand. It showed that he had like two perfectly good hands. Okay, so let's look on the map. Okay, we're doing pretty good. There was something over here I didn't look at. Oh, mechanical door. Yeah, we just have a lot to do. Oh, we have a journal? Interesting. Well, anyways, I'm gonna leave it off here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you really liked this and I'm I'm I can't wait to continue with the second part. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye guys. It's all about humanity.